And now, like I said in my last pipe video, I'm going to be uh, aiming to get some footage over this autumn and winter of uh, pike under the water, how they react to certain rigs. Now, today I'm looking at a different rig to the, the one that I was looking at last time. This time we're looking at the Paternoster rig. I'll show you right now. For those of you that don't know what a Paternoster rig is, essentially, what we've got here, to begin at the top. Personally, for the waters I fish, from being fairly shallow compared to most and quite small waters, um, it doesn't particularly matter what float I personally use. Um, I'm just using one that I can clip on and off the line there at will. It's just a, it's a sliding float. And then what I've got down from that is I've got a 40 pound wire trace. And then coming straight off the bottom of that, I've got a swivel, which is then attached to some 10 pound fluorocarbon. And then on the bottom of that, a two ounce lead. And then attached to that swivel, what I've got is a clip attached to a swivel onto another wire trace, which has the treble hook on it, which will have your bait on it. Uh, this trace is considerably smaller than the trace it comes up. I'll hold it out now so you can see it. There it is. This is how it will look in the water. What you'll do is you'll attach a live bait. You can use these for dead baits as well if you're fishing above weedy beds, etc. But today I'll be using live bait. What you do is I'll attach the live bait onto this hook into the top of the live bait. And what this allows the bait to do is it can swim around the rig like so and have all that freedom. Because it's attached to a swivel, obviously the swivel spins and the fish can swim around like that. The reason why you have an up trace is if the live bait tries to swim upwards, what you don't want is the pike then to fly through and break off your main line and you don't want to leave a hook in a pike's mouth. So that's why you always have the up trace up there. What you want to do is keep that still and you want the bait to be able to swim around it like so. This will stop the bait from swimming into snags and things because uh, in the past, I, oh, like you've seen in a lot of my videos, I freeline a live bait. That's because I'm sight, sight fishing for pike. If I was just chucking that out into a water, what you're going to have is you're going to have a live bait that either swims into a pike's mouth and you hardly even feel any taps on the rod tip. Or what's going to happen is the live bait is going to swim under sticks and rocks and things and you're going to get your rig snagged up and uh, probably break off and at some point a pike might even pick that rig up and uh, get the hook down its neck. This way you can position it you can attach a float to the top so you can have that nice thrill of watching that float go under and you know that that live bait isn't going to pull you into any snags when it's swimming around underneath your rig. I like to have a clip so that way when a pike gets into the net I can unclip the trace off there just like you saw my rig in my last video. I can put the rod to one side and sort the fish out without having the line and rod all over the place. So without further ado I'm going to crack on fishing and hopefully we can get some fish. Brought the recording equipment out and uh, we'll see if we can get any underwater takes.
right, the first thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> unclip, hey, <laughs> stay on the mat, unclip the wire trace from the main line, or should I say rather, from the up trace. Right, now the hook is free in the pike's mouth. There we go, that's the main line. We can throw it to one side now. And now basically it's just a pike in the net with the wire trace to avoid any tangles up with the rest of the rig. So obviously swivels and things can get caught in the net as you guys will know. So what I'm gonna do now is unhook the pike safely. Show me a jackie. Really nicely hooked. It's right in the center of the mouth. There we go. Perfect. All I'll do is I'll put that safely to one side, so I'll drop it in my bucket. And then we'll take a look at her. She's not a monster by anyone's standards, but she's a very nice looking fish. There we are. Absolute pristine condition. A really nice fish to catch. Uh, what actually happened then was, there was a great big shoal, or should I say a shoal of big perch, attacking the live bait. The next thing I saw, the perch disappeared, swam out of nowhere, and this pike flew in and slammed it. Ah, oh, it's got me heart racing. Right, I'll give him a little rest and then we'll let him go.